Okay, I'm packing up a box of chocolates for Bailey, and she's in Turlock, California. She wants to see a video of uh, her chocolates so that when she is eating her chocolates, she will know what's what. Now, we can't do this for everybody. That would be a little bit uh, cumbersome, but every so often we will, we will throw it in there. So Bailey has requested one pound Happy Easter all milk chocolate with no cherry, but a good variety of everything else. But she wants all milk chocolate. So starting off with this sugar topped little gem, this is butterscotch. Right next door to its neighbor, buttercream. Man, there's a whole recipe on those. Yeah. Hmm. Not to be confused with chocolate buttercream. Oh, wait. Uh, no, yeah. there's not then. Yeah, well, just leave, I mean, out, it, leave out the chocolate. I guess if you're for the, the eggs, mm -hmm. we did that one. They're yes. all just buttercream. Same recipe, different shape. The swirly on the top, Irish cream. Is that the technical term, the swirly on the top? Swirly on the top. Is it on the bottom? No. No, I it's guess, on the top. I guess not. Hence. Oh, crack. Amateur eyes. Stripes on the top, white. Mm. So what is that one? Oh, I thought you'd never ask rum raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have, ah, my red toe. <laughs> I mean, amaretto. Uh, That's an A. For amaretto. Bingo. It's a fancy looking A. Your dad did that. Yes. He's a fancy frosting writer. Mm-hmm. Next we have. Fancy, fancy frosting fella. Oh yeah, you win. You win the alliteration contest today. Maple walnut. Strawberry. Those stripes will probably fall off in transit. If so. Do they all, all do they fall off often? They're fall offy. Yeah, they're very fall offy. The, just the pink ones in general or just, just this one? particular batch. Oh. They hmm. it has to do with the temperature when they're put on. Sometimes if they're mm. touched too cold, they tend to fall off. So hmm. I, I prefer actually to use a dot for strawberry, then we can eliminate that whole problem. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't around to wrangle your popsicle at the time that he was decorating, so hmm. chocolate buttercream. That's chocolate buttercream. That's the one you have a whole recipe on. That's chocolate shots mm -hmm. on top. Raspberry. Pink loop. This looks kind of like the loops that they use for... Um, for uh, Susan G. Coleman. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Pretty in pink. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wrong month, but... Yeah, whatever. Yes, it, this is the month of March. Feels like deep January, but it's March. Mm -hmm. Cherry cream has a red dot. For those of you who are very observant, I know she asked for no cherry in her box, and I put the cherry in her box. Well, guess what? I meant to do that. I just want to see if you were paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there. Yeah, that's how it happened. So later, I um, took it out, and I put it in an orange one. Yeah. So there. Ha-ha. <laughs> so save your comments. White Loop is peppermint cream. That center is the same recipe that we use for our peppermint patties, which the, our YouTube family seems to be really enjoying. <laughs> Okay, then we you have got a lot of orders for those. Yeah, and mm -hmm. winter green patties too. Hmm. I have a feeling the winter green patties are going to go past winter, huh. and then they'll be like what summer green? I don't know. Um, well, we'll is that when we uh, do we usually not sell them like in the summer? Usually not, except there's this one fellow who will call up. First of all, this is orange cream I'm putting in the box. There's one <laughs> fellow who will call up, and he orders like 140 of them. So you know, if he's going to order that mm -hmm. many, we'll make it for him. And it's in the yeah. summer, and I believe his wife has one a day for like six months or something. Mm. So when he orders them, we make extra. Mm -hmm. Then And then there's somebody else who comes up, I think she's from Georgia, she used to live up here. She seems to come up right about the same time and then she'll like swoop in and, and take whatever he didn't take. <laughs> so That's funny. there are two people that tend to buy them in the summer, so huh. we'll make it for them. I and mean, if somebody wants to just get one, not gonna happen. But if mm. you're gonna order a quantity, we'll do it. Coconut cream. Same recipe as the coconut cream eggs, except the coconut cream eggs do not have shreds on top. Mm -hmm. It would make it for bumpy foiling. Yeah. Okay. Now this is a one pound box. Generally it's about a half, half creams and half nuts and chewies and whatnot. So I'm going to count my creams and see if I have about my 16 or 17 that I need. I think I don't. Two, mm -hmm. four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So I'm going to add four more. So I'm going to go with our most popular ones, which would be buttercream with a white dot, butterscotch with raw sugar sprinkles, peppermint, white loop, and a maple walnut. Unless you'd rather see chocolate buttercream. What do you think, Craig? Maple walnut. Okay. 
You win. All righty. Next up, when we come over here, I like to put the box down because it would be super sad if I were to drop that box. Mm -hmm. We're going to do, normally we do two caramels per box. So in this case, it'll be two milk chocolate caramels. And we're gonna do some butter crunch. Also called toffee. And we're going to move up top and choose two milk salad pieces. Oh, those are confusing. Yeah, very confusing. Almost existential, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, then along here I have... Now this is where you're not going to be able to tell them apart because they don't look... They all look similar. The red cup here is a raisin cluster. Next we have a brown cup, which is a potato chip cluster. I'll put it right next to the uh, Irish cream here, so maybe mm -hmm. that'll help you yeah. navigating your candy box. <laughs> next, we have a potato chip cluster, and I'm gonna put that one between the Irish cream and the strawberry. Then we have a peanut cluster in a white cup, and I will put that next to the rum raisin. Next, I'm gonna do a peanut butter cup. That smooth Jif peanut butter. I'll put two of these in there, and hopefully there won't be people fighting over them. But it could happen. It happens it's, sometimes. It's, they're that good, so we'll do two of those. That's a thing. We'll do two of those to maybe cut down on the uh, candy brawls. Okay, let's do a coconut cluster. We'll put that right between buttercream and and coconut cream, and then we have hazelnut cluster in a red cup. Let's put that right next to the, between the peppermint and the butterscotch. Next in a brown cup, we have almond, almond cluster. Putting that between the amaretto and the raspberry. I'm gonna grab a peanut or a pecan cluster. I'm putting that right next to the raspberry and the peanut butter cup. Next we have cashew cluster. I'm going to put that next to the maple walnut. And I still have some room here. I'm going to fill it back in with a potato chip cluster, which is going next to this salad piece here. And I'm going to put in another hazelnut cluster, red cup. And I think I have room for one more. Let's go for a pecan cluster. This is going to go right next to the uh, raspberry. Now this has no wiggle room. Hmm. I'm going to weigh this. I guarantee it will weigh more than a pound. <laughs> don't let corporate find out. Ooh, don't want any trouble there. No. Okay, so we have our, our orange weighing machine. Is this been warmed up already? No, you're off. You can use that. Yeah. But it's already warmed up? Yeah. You already booted it up oh, a while yeah, ago. It's warmed up. What time did you start it at, would you say? A couple hours ago. Well, that's good. This should be really running smoothly now. Mm -hmm. The weight of the box and the pad is one and a quarter ounces. That's called the tear, and that's spelled T-A-R-E, not Terry, like my name. Mm -mm. Tear is one and a quarter. This one pound equals the candy. Bam! It definitely weighs. <laughs> so now we're going to put on, for shipping, we always use two candy pads instead of one. We, we, just, we do not want this baby to move around. And we're going to top that off with a silver loop. I feel that goes nicely with the, uh, the Easter. color scheme we have here. I feel like it just goes better than the gold blue, silver, they're both cool tones. So uh, mm. that's what we've got. Okay, Bailey, there is your happy Easter box of chocolates. I hope you enjoy it.